What's up? Oh boy. Let's see how bad you look. This is like a jigsaw puzzle. What the heck? What is that? Grain? Rice? I'm going to need a filter. That's dirty. Can't even see through it. How the heck did the mice get in there? Hmm. Don't bond that up. That's got to be fixed. Bizarre. How just that was attacked. This is in a salty area or something. I know this is bad. But i only got to go from here to here. That's another. Just bizarre. Well, I'd be so mad if I ordered one of these from Japan. Just have to cut, cut all this. The inside feels good. Oh, once I cut this out, I could see what's there. Cut that whole section out. And weld it all up. This too. I think it's a double plate. You're gonna have to cut that. And redo this. Motor sounds good though. Where the hell's the dipstick on this thing? The motor's got some miles on it. 145,800 kilometers. That's not too bad. What's that? 90 something thousand? Right? It had some kind of eyebrows. This one's going to get a custom paint job. Ah, there's a dipstick. You're supposed to check that before you run it. You moron! Moron! 660-12 now. Runs good, sounds strong. I think that's definitely where the leak is. I gotta check the valves. Definitely gonna do a timing belt on this. Let me check the oil. He's gonna be a project, for sure. <coughs> Seems like a fairly easy fix, though. You know? The main structural stuff. Take the rust off. Put some good oil-based paint on there. Put a new fuel filter. What the hell? Oh, that's the vacuum lines. Axle lock. Oh, yeah, I need some hoses. Definitely gonna have to redo a bunch of hoses on these. At least being a dump truck, it's easy to get to. Pull this plate off. Probably leave it off for now. While I'm working on it. Because that should be painted anyway. Yeah, this side's not as bad. I'll probably bang the shit out of it and see if it's rotten anywhere else. The rest of the frame doesn't look that bad. Right, boy? <coughs> you need to be rehabilitated. Come from the wrong side of Japan. Had to be near salt water. Wherever there wasn't any paint, it just went. Oh, it's double. That's why. It's double. So it's got a top piece and a bottom piece, and moisture got in between there. Oh, that'll be an easy fix, though. I could basically just grind all that rust out 
and just make a plate and weld it back in over the top because this is definitely reinforced on there pretty damn good I don't see any other so bizarre Does anybody else have anything like this this is a 94 Let's see, Let's see if this thing's got any oil I see the oil filter don't look that old Oh yeah, right to the top. We gotta check that oil pan too, huh? Clean that air filter out, put that back, and then I'll do some pressure washing. We'll get you fixed up, boy. Don't worry. You're not in that bad of shape. Not at all. God, this thing is like a jigsaw puzzle. What's the trick, guys? Definitely ordering a new filter. A roll of vacuum lines. Mini's lines are good. This thing must have sat outside in the ocean on the beach. Why? That's not lined up, but that's coming off. I'm gonna put a screen over it. Don't need it. Don't want it. What we got under here. That's just to save the shit from when you dump it in the bed. Doesn't get all over the motor. Oh, clutch is on the last leg. It's all the way out. Now, for now. Well, that should be an easy valve cover fix. Hmm, that looks like a new exhaust. There's no way that exhaust lasted but more than that frame. I picked up one of these undercarriage wash things. I'm going to try it on my electric. I don't know if it has enough. It says it has enough PSI, but I, I would think it would be volume more than PSI. And if my electric one don't work, I'll drag out my gas one and see if I can get that started. I'm curious. Let's see if this thing's actually going to work. Same fitting. Let's see. Wow. Holy cow. Actually, it has enough pressure to push it back even. Oh, yeah. Dumbass! <laughs> Oh God! Such a dumbass. My name is Moto Cheese. I'm a professional. You're an ass. I mean extension wand for sure. Whoa! All right. This thing actually works pretty damn good.
Somebody doctored this up to get on the boat. Might not start, but... I gotta clean the inside anyway. That's some quality paint right there. One more spot. Somebody's been in that oil pan. That oil pan probably rotted and it was changed. Let's see if this thing will start with all the water. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Look how easy it is to do a clutch on this one. Probably would have been easy to take the bed off a of mini and do that too. Not too shabby. Oh, good thing I didn't clean the interior first. At least I know the wires are semi good. Go grab them. Not. Nah. Oh, I got all the timing stuff on here now. Hmm. From the outside, they all look the same. From the inside, they're very different. I see where that transmission splits. That's different. Oh, there's the vacuum reservoir. Oh, look at that. How come it's working now? Ah, oh, so it's just a connection. Easy fix. I have to come up with a name for you. You can see it's got a pretty good amount of compression left. So I got three, three universal rims and one that's uh, the wrong size lug pattern, so I might have to see if I can use a spare because those I like the rims but there isn't much room behind them maybe it's about the same well, if the steelies work I'll put the steelies Minnie made a mess of these and this is back when Minnie got stuck that thing works pretty good for electric I have a gas one I haven't had to pull it out yet I have a link for that on my website Runs that undercarriage wash pretty good. It's a little rough you are. Not terrible. Those coils are a lot shorter. Got about half brake pad left. Looks like a lift is in order on this too. First thing I want to try is this. Because it's the wrong bolt pattern. Close, but no cigar. And check the back set. It's like four and a half. Oh, they are the same. So in order for these to fit without a lift, even with a lift I wouldn't trust it. I had to shave this corner off. Put that with some touch up paint. Check this out. Seven and a half inches. That's why those blue springs wouldn't work on many. These are eight and a half between the perch. That's why I could take them off by hand. Oh, 10 inch, 10 inch springs. You ain't gonna do them on a Suzuki's without a compressor. I didn't record it, but these lug nuts are like hand tight. Yeah, I wish I had one more of these universal rims. That would have been nice. I'd love to buy one. I wonder if I could buy one. Just one. Message. Isn't that the new one he just gave me? Oh yeah, 
Looking tough now. Looking tough. Looks so much better with those tires, doesn't it? Well, I gotta figure out how to get that spare out now. Not in bad shape. Feels like there's so much slack here. And with this screw set, I bet you it's not open in full throttle. So if I push that, and then I push that cable, I pull it. Oh, wow, look. That's how much more. So that throttle's not even open all the way. I'll take it out over here. You definitely want a little slack. Better. Jeez. All right, see, so I could feel the cable tight there, so a little more. Well, that thing's way off. This thing's gonna fly now. I was only getting about three quarter throttle. I know you're not impressed, Minnie. <laughs> Give him time. We'll let the penetrating oil work first, and then we'll lube it up after. Some three in one. I think this is doing the same thing with the choke. It's got an accelerator pump. <laughs> I flooded it. Whoops. That's idle and idle up. Sounds pretty good. Sounds really good. I think this might be faster than many. More power. Right? It smells. Oh, I sprayed some oil stuff. 
I didn't clean the inside yet. I was missing one of them visors too. Okay, it's got two keys though. So. We can rehabilitate. I was going to bring Minnie out to introduce. Yeah. Thinking about it. This one's adjustable. Oh. I missed a shot. That's as tight as it'll go. That mud flap is hanging up now or something. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to do something about that. He's gonna get his first big load. Well, a little load. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want notifications on new videos. I have links for all of the products I use in the description and on motorcheese.com. Thanks for watching.